This video will cover the topic, Additive Property of Equality with Signed Fractions. The additive property of equality states that adding a number to both sides of an equality will preserve the equality. How does that work? We can confirm this with a quick example. 2 equals 2 is a fact, but what if we added 3 to both sides? Will the equality be preserved? Well, we get 3 plus 2 equals 2 plus 3, which simplifies to 5 equals 5. I know that 5 does equal 5, so I think this is right. This property is useful when trying to solve for a variable that has a constant being subtracted from it. So, for example, to solve x minus 5 equals 6, the additive property of equality lets us add 5 to both sides, resulting in 5 plus x minus 5 equals 6 plus 5, which we can then simplify to x equals 11. Now, if there's a fraction involved, we follow the same process, but there's an extra step. We would have a fraction addition problem on one side, so we would need to make sure the denominators are the same so we can simplify to a single fraction. I think I get it, but how about an example? Great idea. Let's say we're given x minus 8 ninths equals negative 6 over 21, and we're told to solve for x. We want x by itself on one side of the equal sign, right? To do this, would we add 8 over 9 to both sides? Right. We see that 8 ninths is being subtracted from x, so to get x by itself, we need to add 8 ninths to both sides. The additive property of equality lets us add 8 ninths to both sides while preserving the equality, which results in 8 ninths plus x minus 8 ninths equals negative 6 over 21 plus 8 ninths. Oh, I see. So the 8 ninths on the left side of the equal sign will cancel, and we will have x by itself. That's right. This results in the equality x equals negative 6 over 21 plus 8 ninths, which gives us x by itself, but it isn't completely simplified yet. Now we have negative 6 over 21 plus 8 over 9 on the right side of the equal sign. How would we deal with that? Now we must evaluate the right side of the equation, which is a fraction addition problem with a negative fraction. Since the denominators 21 and 9 are not the same, we need to find a common denominator, and we can do this by finding the prime factorization of 9 and 21. I think I remember prime factorization. The prime factorization of 21 is 7 times 3. And the prime factorization of 9 is 3 times 3. So our least common multiple should be 3 times 3 times 7, which is 63. That's right. So now we need to manipulate our fractions so they have common denominators of 63. We can do this by multiplying negative 6 over 21 by 3 over 3 and multiplying 8 ninths by 7 over 7. When we do this, our fractions become negative 18 over 63 and 56 over 63. Now we must add our fractions together. We can do this by adding the numerators and keeping the denominators the same. Negative 18 plus 56 equals 38, so our answer is x equals 38 over 63. So if we're given an equality in which a fraction is being subtracted from x, we can add that fraction to both sides in order to solve for x? Exactly.